Hello everyone, my name is Gabby. I know it's probably been a while since the last video, but I went and bought something Dragon Ball related again. So hey, how's everyone's self-isolation because of coronavirus going, right? Right? I know that sounds a little bit lame, and that also pretty much immediately dates this video, but it's actually relevant, kind of kind of relevant to what I've been doing. Because basically last week I went to an anime convention. At this anime convention I saw lots of stuff, bought lots of art, did a kind of little bit of a low effort Zengenrompa cosplay and ended up at a meetup. I had a pretty good time but I also realised that if it was scheduled like maybe just a week later it probably would have been cancelled because of the coronavirus fears. So yeah I'm, I'm, I'm kind of very happy that I was able to go. I don't think I'm sick from that last week. So you know good news all around and now I've got something to show everybody. And it is this. I got a figure, I got another, a, a Gohan figure. What a surprise because I'm the I'm the big Gohan fan, so I've got to get a Gohan figure. It is called, it's a very Japanese-ish name, it's called the Cho Sen Shiretsuden, Volume 6. I've sort of seen these figures before, the figure collection. It's kind of weird because they, well first of all the fact is that they, there's no, there isn't two figures in this, they're, but they come in like, they're released in like packs of, packets of two, where they're always kind of sort of related to each other, but sort of not. So there's a there's a Super Saiyan 2 one, but you've got to buy that one separately. But the other weird thing about these ones is that they kind of tend to do a lot of recolors. Like they issue a lot of sort of versions of them where they're kind of often the same figure, just a slightly different like hair color. Like I know there's a, there's a Vegeta one where is there's one where it's Vegeta in Super Saiyan, and there's one where it's Vegeta in Super Saiyan Blue. And it's the same figure, the only difference is the hair and the eye colour. Which is, yeah, pretty, pretty light. And, and even in this one, it's got recolors as well. So like this one, I know there was a version of this that had the Super Saiyan 1 hair for Gohan, and then for this one, there's also a version of Gohan that was Super Saiyan. Those ones were the original ones, and now they've made new versions where they're pretty much the same, but they just slightly changed the heads, or the hair, or the whatever. <sighs> You know, I don't want to be cynical about this stuff all the time. I mean, I mean goodness knows, there, there is too much cynicism in this world, and cynicism for me in general as well. But it's a bit hard to sort of not mention the fact that these, this, this figure line collection, at least in particular, feels kind of very like, they just kind of milk as much as they can out of like the same characters by just doing clever things with the hair colors and whatnot. I mean, heck, when I was at that anime convention at one of the merchandise booths, there was one thing, like there was an entire wall that was literally just Vegito figures. And not like really radically different Vegito figures, basically pretty much the same general molds Vegito figure. The only difference being like, one in some of them the pose are slightly different, some of them it has blonde hair, some of them it has blue hair. I don't know if it's just me or maybe I just wasn't realizing it until now, but a lot of Dragon Ball merchandise, when you actually look at it all together, a lot of it's kind of surprisingly cheap, at least in terms of trying to get as much bang out of their buck from like one character. Of course I'm, I guess I'm part of the problem because yeah, I, I saw this figure, I saw it was coming out, it was going to be released soon, I was like, oh wait, holy crap, now that I think about it, this is like the first? I'm pretty sure, like the first like big full-size like crane game prize size ultimate Gohan figure that I've seen in maybe like four years or something. I, I feel like this, I feel like Ultimate Gohan was never really merchandised that much. Even though he heck, even though he was in the, the tournament of power, I feel like he wasn't merchandised that much. So I guess it's good for my wallet, but you know, also means that hey, if there's a thing of a character that I like that is rarely in the spotlight like that. Yeah, sure, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm, 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 I'm trash. That, that, that's how, that's how things work, right? Even though the fact the the Super Saiyan version of this, I'm pretty sure, was the one that came first. So the first one was like Super Saiyan Gohan, and it's like only after that they were like, hey, why don't we just like make the hair black and just do Ultimate Gohan? And they're like, oh, that's clever. Why didn't we think of that? And yeah, so I bought this from the anime convention, and it was great because I didn't have to pay for shipping. I could just grab it. I could just bring it home with me. And yeah, let's unbox it. There we go, we've got the pieces and let's assemble it. Oh no.
right, I think I think that's all working. Uh, there we go. Cool. Hang on. Let me just go. Hello again, and here we go. I've got the figure. Compared to the other ones that I've made and the on my wall that way, on my wall around there, around there stuff. I feel like this one's a little bit more precariously leaning. It's only just got this one thing that's keeping it up, and it just kind of feels a little bit wobbly if you see that. The, the, the real novelty for me, I think, is the fact that you just barely, like, you really don't see that much Gohan merchandise in general. Especially, and especially, like, older Gohan, adult Gohan, ultimate Gohan. You know, you got a little bit for the Resurrection F movie, kind of, with him in the tracksuit, but besides that, like, I kind of don't really merchandise him that much. It's like he's not that popular, or he doesn't sell as much compared to the 5 million versions of Goku and Vegeta fusing. Um, I'm totally not salty. Nope, nope, no salty. No saltiness at all. Whatsoever, the fact that, like, the character that I like the most doesn't really get much in the show. E even if he does get stuff in the show, they kind of don't really translate it to merchandise. They, they, they kind of act like, oh, that was like a fun little subplot that the anime stuff put in, but when in terms of actually what is being presented as the face of Dragon Ball, Gohan doesn't really matter because he's a, a nerd or he's weak or we don't really use him very much because Toriyama didn't write any stories for him. So, you know, seeing a figure like this is like, hey, look, it's, a, it's an underused character. It's a kind of underrated character, you could say. So it's cool, cool to buy. You know, if, if it was a few years ago, I probably wouldn't have bought this just because I didn't really like Ultimate Gohan that much. Like, I think conceptually he's really cool. Like, the idea is really cool, especially if you really think about it. But in, in the actual, like, in Dragon Ball Z itself, it kind of, it, there's issues. He doesn't really do much. He gets his power up kind of for free, kind of really anticlimactically. It's just sort of supposed to just go up and, and show up and solve all of his problems for him. But then not, he doesn't really do anything anyway. He, 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 he tries to fight Boo for, like, two chapters and then Boo absorbs everyone else and then he, he loses. So, you know, it, it does leave kind of an underwhelming taste in your mouth. And I wouldn't have really liked the form that much if it wasn't for Dragon Ball Super because I've been considering making a video about this for like two years or something. But, you know, I, I think how they used Ultimate Gohan in Dragon Ball Super really kind of made me like the form again because they, they kind of made him have to work for it as opposed to just kind of being handed to it for free in Dragon Ball Z. He actually gets to win fights with it as opposed to using it for one fight, which he ultimately loses. And also it doesn't completely change his personality, so he can't act all like cool and badass and taking names and doing the smack talk. Like he doesn't really do that in Dragon Ball Super. Like he still kind of got the form, but he still kind of has the sort of, oh, I'm kind of like the token more normal, kind of shy-ish, sort of polite-ish sort of member of the cast. So, yeah, I like Ultimate Gohan now, at least in Super. So when I see it's like, hey, you've got a figure, I'm gonna go and buy it. And I think it's a pretty decent one, even if it is basically just a recolor of an older one. The only issue there's a little bit, I feel like there's a little bit of a paint fault there. With some of the orange is a bit sort of wrong, there's these weird sort of black spots in it. But, but like, you can't really see it on the camera, so it's fine. It, it's, it's, it's decent. Like, you know, it's not really, I don't think it's actually based on any sort of pose or anything. Though it is similar to some, one of the bits he does against Super Boo, but, you know, I don't think it's, like, based on anything. But I think it's decent. I don't know where I'm going to put it, because I don't have any space, and I said that, like, last time. God, now that I think about it, it's actually a very similar pose as well to my Ultra Instinct Omen version, which I did in my last unboxing, which is the last figure I bought. Although, that one has, first of all, that one has two frames of support, as opposed to this one only has one. And, you know, the pose is slightly different, but it is, uh, like, kind of, you know, she's got the extended leg out there, so it's just taking up all this space here under the bottom. Uh, also, I just realized I didn't properly review the box and show you all the sides, so here's the box. So, that's the box. It's one of those... For once, they don't actually have the name of it, logo of it in English, so it's just in Japanese. But yeah, so that's the one side, that's the main figure. The Super Saiyan 2 one is the one that's the other one in the line. There's another version of the Gohan. There's the two of them there. And, oh, Inheritance. Is that what the Cho So Cho Retsu Den whatever thing means? If it means Inheritance, then that would make sense. And, hey, it says Ultimate, guys. Ultimate Son Gohan does not say Mystic. Mystic? It's not called Mystic. I don't know who even came up with that. Stop calling him Mystic. And yeah, it's that and the top. The, the bottom's just got um table of contents, so yeah. But yeah, so I'll find some way to put this on my shelf somewhere. And you know, in terms of if I'm gonna do any more future Dragon Ball videos, I don't know. 
it, it, I guess it just depends what happens. Like, you know, like everybody around probably knows Dragon Ball's pretty dead right now. There's not much new content going out. So, you know, anything just as simple as, hey, they released a figure that I like, you know, might as well. If there's something new and interesting, I'll talk about it. If there's not, I don't know. And we'll see if they ever eventually make a new Dragon Ball series. It might happen in one day. It might not. Who who even knows at this point? Anyway, I, I, I guess I'll probably leave a link to this in the video description if you want to see what it is if you want to buy it i know it's actually pretty new so you'll probably it'll probably still be in stock and wherever you want to buy it from and yeah everyone you know i guess this is you know more dragon ball content is still coming probably maybe from me i'm not sure from other people i'm not sure from the merchandise train it always will because the merchandise train never stops even if it's unprofitable. So I hope you guys all have a good day. Make sure you wash your hands, nerds. If you're self-isolating, keep self-isolating. It's fine. I'm sure this is really a really great time to be a YouTuber because everybody has nothing to do who's self-isolating and we just need to go and watch each other's YouTube videos. But yeah, everybody have fun. I might be doing some more streams on Twitch. I might be doing some more things on YouTube. I've honestly... I'm actually not sure. It really just depends what's going on in my life right now. But yeah, so everybody have a good day. Make sure to wash your hands, be hygienic, and let's all hope that we all get better. So anyway, this is Gabby signing out and goodbye, guys.